Hello guys, today we're about the worst DLC character in Smash Bros. But did you already talk about this? Well, Smash Ultimate was not the first game to have DLC. Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS also had DLC. And there was a there was actually a more worse character than both Byworth and Min Min. You know this character. Not Bayonetta. Corn. Corn was basically the worst final DLC in history. We had all these we had these groundbreaking third party characters. We had Ryu added to Smash Bros. We had Mewtwo we added back. Crowd Strife and Bayonetta. Three of these characters are very big third party characters. Bayonetta is a character that is owned by Sega. So Bayonetta actually is more likely to appear in Smash Bros. again than any of the Square Enix characters. Crowd and Ryu were just big characters. Important characters in gaming. And then we got Bayonetta. But again, Bayonetta was probably added because of how... Because of Nintendo and Platinum Games and Sega's relationship. But then we had this one character that was added. Korn. It's just, why? Why did we have this character in Smash Bros. specifically? I know Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem Fates was coming out, and Fire Emblem Fates was actually a pretty big game. But out of all the characters they could have added to Smash Bros, they added Korn. The only good thing, Korn is a pretty bad character in Smash Bros. No one plays as Korn, basically. Korn was also not, was also at least okay in Smash 4, but complete garbage in Smash Ultimate. Kind of like Riddle Mac. But Widow Mac got the sword, the sword at the end of the stick of any Smash Bros. character. But the re but the thing is the reaction to Korn. The fact that the last DLC character was not a big, highly requested character. Of course, we sort of expect that for every DLC character. But this was supposed to be the finale of DLC characters. The big finale. It's kind of like, instead of Banzai Kazooie being announced, we got Byleth instead. And Banzai Kazooie was the last character for his past one. It was kind of like that one E3 reveal, but instead of Banzai Kazooie being added to Smash Bros, we got Bubsy the Bobcat. Bet. That's basically Corn in a nutshell. We got all these amazing characters, fan favorites being added back like Lucas, Roy, and Mewtwo. Too. Obviously, they were added. It. They were obviously planned to be in Smash Bros, but they were cut. I think that's my theory about Mewtwo, Lucas, and Roy, that they were actually planned to be playable in the game, but they were cut because of time constraints. DLC Smash Bros characters, I think that's going to be like that in the future. That future Smash Bros DLC characters will basically be characters that are cut from the game, but are added back because of DLC. So if a character that Sakurai wanted to put in, let's just say Lucina was cut in Smash 6. But Sakurai almost included her because, but they couldn't include her because of time constraints. They could have easily just make a, a DLC character or part of a DLC pack of characters. This, but core, but now let's get back to Korn. Korn is just a very, very disappointing end to the first the DLC for Smash Bros for Wii U and 3DS. The the DLC was amazing for Smash Bros Wii U and 3DS. We got a lot of great and amazing characters. In the game, we got Cloud, we got Ryu, we got Mewtwo, we got Bayonetta, and then we, just, then we have the so we have the sore of Smash Bros DLC, Corn. Corn is even more disappointed in Min Min and Byworth because it's just we all know they put them in because it's a sill app. I I'm not against Nintendo characters being DLC or anything, but the characters that they pick are just very disappointing so far. There's a lot of very great Nintendo characters that are still not in Super Smash Bros. But we got Korn instead. We could have easily gotten a character like Sceptile or Grovile. Those two characters would have been a much more fitting end to the past. First of all, Orastus released, and we will finally got the Gen 3 representation that that generation so deserves in Smash Bros. So yep, there we go. The most disappointing DLC character in Smash history is Korn. Even worse than Midman and Byleth as well. So that's basically it. Goodbye.